You've probably put a lot of thought into how you get from point A to point B in your day-to-day life. Or maybe you haven't. But whether you walk, bike, drive, sport an electric vehicle, or take a commuter train or bus, it's likely a pretty firm decision by now. Your choice is likely some factor of habit, geography, income level, time constraints, and maybe even personal beliefs. When you take a trip outside of your normal routine, though, the choice might be a little different. When's the last time you made a decision between flying or driving for a vacation? Did you know there's an energy component to that decision, too? With cheap cross-country flights, it's often more convenient to fly than to drive. Turns out, though, convenient doesn't always mean energy efficient. For years, researchers warned that flying was much worse for the environment than driving. That notion has been challenged in recent years, but here are a few things we know for sure. The energy intensity of flying has fallen by about 25% in the last 10 years and has slightly outpaced the declines for driving. In terms of CO2 emissions, jet fuel emits about 8% more per gallon than gasoline. Not a colossal difference. But CO2 isn't the whole story when you're flying. Airplanes also emit nitrogen oxides, sulfur oxides, and black carbon, as well as water vapor that can form heat-trapping clouds. Whoa. That's a lot of science. Here's what it boils down to for you if you're thinking about energy while you travel. On average, airplanes are usually between 80 and 85% full. That means the emissions are spread out among dozens of people. So if you're traveling solo, it's likely best to fly. But the amount of emissions per person in a car drops drastically as soon as you start picking up passengers. So if you're planning spring break with a bunch of friends or hauling the kids along consider a road trip. Of course, as electric vehicles and the necessary charging infrastructure becomes more commonplace, the flying versus driving debate could take on an entirely different look. But that's a story for a future day.